I'm not Andrew Tate. What I am the first is that there is not one of you fools out of a hundred out there watching that is going to hook up with a girl that is rated as a six or more in current 2024 society. And furthermore, not going to be able to attain the status of top G, not by a damn sight. <laughs> Andrew Tate is very mean. I'm not Andrew Tate. Hurricane Barrel is an active tropical cyclone over the Gulf of Mexico, currently moving away from the Yucatan Peninsula. Barrel is the second named storm, first hurricane, and first major hurricane of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. It is also the earliest forming Category 5 Atlantic hurricane on record. After forming on June 28th in the main development region, it began rapidly intensifying as it moved west through the central tropical Atlantic. On July 1st, Barrel made landfall on the island of Karakou in Grenada as a high end category four hurricane causing extensive damage. The hurricane intensified further as it entered the Caribbean Sea, peaking as a category five hurricane early the next morning before gradually weakening to a category two hurricane again on July 5th, just prior to making landfall in southeastern Mexico. Barrel caused catastrophic damage on Grenada's northern islands of Cariacou and Petite Martinique and on several of St. Vincent and the Grenadines' southern islands, such as Union Island and Canuan, where many structures were damaged or destroyed. In Venezuela, 10 people were killed and several were missing. As of July 5th, a total of 12 fatalities have been confirmed and preliminary damage estimates are more than 5 billion. On June 25th, the National Hurricane Center, NHC, noted a low potential for a tropical wave to eventually develop into a tropical cyclone. At the time, the wave was south of Cabo Verde and was producing disorganized showers and thunderstorms. By June 26, the NHC anticipated that environmental conditions would be unusually conducive for late June across the central and western tropical Atlantic, due in part to record warm sea surface temperatures, SST, throughout much of the tropical Atlantic. By that time, the thunderstorms had increased and become better organized with curved bands and some spin. By June 27th, the NHC assessed a high likelihood of development. The disturbance further organized becoming Tropical Depression to over the central tropical Atlantic on June 28th, about 1,170 kilos east-southeast of Barbados. Located south of a strong subtropical ridge, the depression moved generally westward through an area of low wind shear, warm SST, and plenty of atmospheric moisture. As a result, the system began a period of rapid intensification. The depression strengthened into Tropical Storm Barrel six hours after formation, and the thunderstorms quickly organized into a central dense overcast with a symmetric cloud pattern surrounded by rain bands. Late on June 29th, barrel intensified into a hurricane. The inner core of the thunderstorms organized into an eye, which became clear and symmetrical. Observations from the hurricane hunters indicated that barrel became a major hurricane on June 30th. The hurricane strengthened further into a category four hurricane, attaining an initial peak intensity with winds of 130 met pH barrel, then underwent an eye wall replacement cycle and briefly weakened to a category three hurricane early on July 1st, but regained category four strength six hours later once the cycle was completed. At 3 p.m. UTC the same day, Barrel made landfall in Cariacou, Grenada, with sustained winds of 150 mile pH. At 3 p.m. UTC the next day, July 2nd, Barrel further intensified into a Category 5 hurricane, peaking a few hours later with winds of 165 mm pHA, while moving to the west-northwest at about 20 mm pH. Later that same day, Barrel passed south of Isla Beata, Dominican Republic, where it weakened to Category 4 strength as a result of wind shear. To make a personal request, receive channel merchandise, or to just
hook a brother up, hit up the Cash App on the screen, or make a contribution to the PayPal shown on the screen. That will do it for this one. If you would like us to exploit or make goofy jokes about something other than sports, please leave feedback via the comment section below. If you prefer us to direct our talents towards provocative Reddit stories, unusual stuff posted on Twitter do make your voice heard below. Being that BJ is living off his savings and I am an artificially engineered figure E, we have all day to scour the internet for these types of diamonds in the muff. Ah, oh, diamonds in the rough. Okay. Well, for BJ, D, this is the Andrew Tate puppet saying, don't simp, don't cuck. Say no to dope and be kind to animals. As for what you do to humans, I could care less and see you in the next.